Hello, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and I would like to welcome you in a series of videos we created with our partners from DR Wakefield. DR Wakefield is a coffee trading company based in London that has been in the coffee industry for almost 50 years. Their team has tremendous knowledge and skills in coffee that we ask them to share on a camera. In this video, Diana goes through a process of evaluating coffee samples during the coffee cupping. <laughs> Uh, so we use 12 grams of coffee and what I do is I get all of the samples that have been roasted, which is usually the day before roasted, um, and I'm going to weigh out five bowls and I'll put 12 grams in our bowls of each coffee. And I want to make the cupping blind so I remove all the trays so that the uh, coffees can't be seen. After I weigh the coffee out, I'll grind all the coffee. Before I grind uh, each different coffee, I'm gonna purge the grinder. So I'm gonna put a few beans just to clean it through, just so the blades are nice and clean and we're not tasting the coffee from another origin. I'll then add hot water to the bowls uh, with a timer. So I'll start the timer and that hot water is essentially just off boiling. It's around 94 degrees. And I go all the way around the table as efficiently as possible and let that coffee then brew. And once that first bowl hits four minutes, which my timer is running, I know that that is time for me to then do something called breaking. Um, so once four minutes hits, I come back with a spoon and I'm gonna push the grinds down and forward three times, trying to make sure that I'm doing it at four minutes per bowls. And what that's doing is that's obviously agitating the coffee, but it's also allowing the aromas to be released because they're basically trapped under that crust. After I do that, I'm gonna clear the bowl all the way around the table and then somewhere around eight to 10 minutes is when we start tasting the scorings. And then you keep going around and we'll start marking our score sheets and writing down attributes. And uh, we won't speak during the process if possible, um, just because that allows us not to be uh, influenced by each other, um, allows us to kind of put down our thoughts and just have that time with those bulls. And then after we've all finished, then we'll discuss scores. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more about DR Wakefield and their project, so check out their website, drwakefield.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I would like to thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.